done in October in Toronto. Talk about being ready for the original uh, schedule uh, of this World Championships. Uh, Shelby Newkirk of uh, Canada doing this in Toronto. The new world record, 121.43. Yeah, that was exactly the time where this event was originally scheduled to be in, so swimmer bang on form at the right time. Unfortunately, these championships were abandoned for very valid reasons. Absolutely. Uh, we're here in December for the postponed event. They seem to have trouble with these backstroke ledges on occasions. I think that's sorted out now. The, the favourite phrase that's been going around the building is you've got to be here to win it. And that's exactly what these athletes who are here uh, are going for. You know, there's, uh, there's gold on offer. Absolutely. And people like Jessica Long don't need a second invitation. <laughs> Adding to the stockpile. And here we go then with the five ladies taking part in the final of the women's 100 metres backstroke this is the s7 classification and straight away Republic of china in lane four it's the best of the starts here for them. i know that the sport's not put on paper take a look at the times around her and uh, you'd be hard pressed to have taken anybody else out of that field for gold here wouldn't you yeah she is the champion from rio last year and she looks already like she's on her way to adding the world championship goal to that one coming in to the turn here gaily ting in 39.96 the world record set held by the canadian 121.43 so it's gonna have to be quite a a swift return here for kaylee ting if she's going to challenge that record mark but championship record might go 123.19 is well within uh, Keely Ting's ability, 9.96 at the turn. And again, as you said a little bit earlier in commentary, Paul, uh, already a long, long way away from the rest. And Keely Ting here, it's all about the clock for her, and she will collect a gold medal here in Mexico City, as you were saying, she did in Rio as well. And it will be Keely Ting into the final few metres at the touch. A little, a little bit of difficulty with the touch, 125.80. That might have been a fraction quicker. Uh, misjudging that very last stroke. Denise Growl gets the silver here in Mexico City. And the bronze will go to Estonia's Brenda Tilt, 138.28 in lane three. Yeah, Kaylee Ting will take that one. We'll just have a look at that finish on the replay there when we see it. It's a comfortable victory in the end, though, for the Chinese swimmer. Actually, we suspected it might be a couple of bronzes this week already in the freestyle events now a gold in the 100 backstroke Estonians running past us with cameras here to get the picture of Brenda Tilk it was almost as if they weren't expecting that there was two Estonian coaches set up here in the press area they've just gone racing past us at a, at a right speed with their cameras and to get pictures of Brenda Tilk I wonder if they weren't quite expecting her to uh, get in front of Mary Mary Mackin there you go uh, there, oh, there's a there's a conversation. If she'd have been going against, uh, let's let's take Shelby Newkirk, shall we? Um, if she'd have been going against Shelby Newkirk, and that was a real tussle for the goal, that might have been very very expensive. As it was, it was uh, it was all right. It was okay. You got away with it. Hashtag para swimming. If you want to get in touch with myself and Paul, you can use the hashtag on social media. Here, it's all about goal for the People's Republic of China. Keely Ting, but he's growling second, and Brenda Tilk. That will be the podium this afternoon when we come back.